What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to tutorial 3 and today I'll be going to talk about how to display the plot I mean the plot whichever we are going to create using book module uh, into Jupyter Notebook so in the last tutorial we have seen how to display or how to create a plot and how to uh, by default it will uh, open not by default we have used something like a output file and it will create a HTML file and from that file you will see that um, you already seen that uh, a new browser window will be open and inside that your plot will be loaded so it's kind of a, a html file and some sort of internal arrangements like javascript and css are there and your plot will be loaded inside that but in this tutorial we'll see how to load and display the plot um, in the same window of your jupyter notebook okay and for doing that uh, you probably might need some uh, method and I'll be going to talk about that method so uh, I'll be going to talk about the method means I'll be just going to show you that what method you need and what are the things you have to do but nothing else cause we'll be going to see the documentation then and there while doing the code so this is the usual uh, things like what is bouquet so all of you I believe are familiar with bouquet now that this is an interactive uh, data visualization library and whenever you require to develop some sort of data driven application or dashboard where user interaction is required and you want to uh, give your chart kind of a life like uh, a uh, nice look and feel and based from the uh, data streamline process it should change uh, over the period of time so definitely then uh, book is the uh, uh, go to library for your job okay so we just started uh, 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 last week only so if you are still not visit the bouquet documentation link it is a uh, it is highly recommended to go and check this link because you will get a lot of uh, uh, nice ideas tricks tips whatever is required to learn this bouquet module from this link okay so next thing is that as i told you uh, you have seen how to uh, load the plot inside a uh, from a html file um, and for that uh, thing you have to use output underscore file and you have to pass the html file name and for today's topic as i told you that we'll be going to load the plot from a jupyter notebook from the jupyter notebook from where actually you are executing the code from the same jupyter notebook so for that you have to use this output underscore notebook what it does it it does actually uh, it does it, it loads the bouquet.js okay and after that is a javascript uh, uh, module and after that it will display uh, the code i uh, sorry the plot okay this is very simple so we'll see it now how to display so let me I will be just put one name so this will be tutorial 3 and how to load and display plot display plot from Jupyter notebook okay so this is a topic all done so first thing first so it will be from bouquet.io so here's a new thing dot io interface and from there we have to this will be output notebook okay next thing will be same bouquet dot plotting okay bouquet dot plotting module uh, sorry uh, this uh, uh, there is another thing bouquet dot model but that is a very low level uh, interface but we'll be going to use that while developing some sort of application okay so this will be figure and show okay so the next thing is like this okay so now let me just uh, create a plot um, maybe test underscore plot is going to be figure like this and after that test underscore plot dot line so we'll use python list so this should be two four eight, two four six eight then it should be ten twenty uh, uh, thirty forty okay and maybe we can put some sort of line line width okay so let me put line width equals to four okay so line underscore color equals to maybe it's a line color or normal color i don't know blue is not maybe i can put red 
okay and after that uh, <coughs> test uh, after that i need to just uh, call this method so it will load the bouquet.js okay so if you run this thing you will get a bouquet logo and it will be uh, it will be going to display something that bouquet.js module loaded something like that okay so see bouquet.js successfully loaded okay then next thing is that show and test plot that's it see we got our plot okay so two then four two four six eight two four six eight and it's like in two it is ten in four it is twenty in six it is thirty in eight it is forty so that's it so hopefully you guys you guys will understand now how to load this um, plot inside the same jupyter notebook and how to display that so for that there are two things actually happening parallelly first this module is getting loaded and after that if you have to call this method it will display the plot so this is important the bouquet.js module to load this file okay uh, sorry load the plot okay so that's it hope you guys will uh, understand this thing so let me just make it a uh, minimize this thing okay uh, after that let me take a screenshot of this thing okay and i should put this thing here or else i will forget actually insight install insert picture from file download this should be in the screenshot let me take a screenshot from here okay fine that's it okay fine that's it let me save this thing let me close this thing all done so that's it guys that's it for today this is very small tutorial as i as i told you but very very unique tutorial because whenever you are going to do something there are two important things one is how to load the plot from a html file uh, from a separate html file and how to load your plot from the same jupyter notebook so now you know so many things like you know how to load bouquet plot from html how to load bouquet plot from jupyter notebook how to create line chart how to create uh, custom, how to change the color of the line chart how to uh, add title how to add axis how to uh, axis means x axis level y axis level how to put legend all these things are uh, familiar to you so you now can now you can create some sort of linear uh, plotting using your data set and just play around with this thing so definitely will get some sort of confidence so i will highly recommend you guys to do that sort of practice cause or else uh, eventually you will forget when you are, you are going to start something uh, like some advanced topic so that's it please let me know have some sort of feedback how you guys are enjoying the series and if you want us to improve our quality or want us to change something or whether you are finding um, anything not relevant for the course please let us know we'll try to improve and include all those things in our course okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day